a script that you can attach to a Google form in order to grade and email responses. So naturally, it's a great tool for teachers to use for student assessment and for students to use to demonstrate their learning as well. So let's get started. You can read about Fluberoo at www.fluberoo.com. Um, at the website, there is extensive uh, information about how to set it up. So really, um, it's quite easy to use, but we're going to go through it. There's a video here as well. We are going to go through it and see how it works. Here I have a Google form that I have created on Black History Month. Now, let's say I've given this to uh, my class, and I would like to send them the grade on the quiz. Here is the Google form that goes with it. As the students submit answers, the um, spreadsheet will populate with their responses. Now, let's say I'm ready to um, grade it for them. The first thing I want to do is to go to the Google Script Gallery under Tools and search for Fluberoo the script. I found it and I'm going to say install. Takes a moment for the script to attach to the spreadsheet. And once it's installed, I'll be able to uh, email grades to the students. Ask me to authorize the script and now it tells me I can run it. So I can close this. And here's the script attached to the spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on it. And let's say I'm ready to grade. So I'm going to say the grade, the assignment. Notice that um, you ha have several choices. You can weight these responses, give them from one to five points. Or you can say that a response identifies a student, such as if you're asking for the student's name. Or you can skip grading it. So I'm going to leave one point on all of these except for the email which identifies the student. I'll say continue. It's going to ask me which response is the one that has a 100% perfect score. Usually that'll be the first one and that'll be the one where the teacher will uh, put in the correct responses. So I'm going to select the first one in this case and it is grading telling me that it's finished. And as I look at it, I kind of did these randomly. <laughs> so um, there are the scores. Not too good in this case. And it goes through each of them and, it, and it'll tell you what the score was for each of them. This is handy in case you notice that a lot of students are missing a particular question uh, that may tell the teacher to go back and reteach it um, as well. Okay, after you have the grades, uh, you may decide that you want to email the students, and if you've asked them to provide their email, you can do that. Um, <clears throat> notice that the student submissions are still here on the first tab of the uh, workbook, and here are the grades on the second. So I'm going to go back to the script, and now I'm going to ask it to email grades. And you have several choices here. Um, you can um, include a list of the questions and the scores. You can also include the answer key. Sometimes you want to do that. Sometimes you would like to resubmit it. And then you can put a um, message there as well. So you could put something like, um, this is your grade for the quiz. In this case, I will put an answer key in there and continue. And it is sending the grades. It'll tell me if, ev if all of the emails were accurately typed in, it will tell me that um, the number that have gone successfully. And select OK. Now let's take a look at what the email looks like from the student's point of view. Students will receive an email that tells them their grade here with the message. And um, what comes in as well indicates green if they got the response correct and red if they did not. So that is how what they see as far as their scores. 
From the teacher's perspective, they also get an email and it will tell them a summary of all the scores and, and uh, what the total grade was percentage wise. So that's how the Fluberu script works with Google Forms. And although that's not the only type of assessment you would want to do with students, at time it's just the perfect tool. Thank you. Oh.